Sony, Sony has taken a decision which wasn't exactly surprising to us, considering the number of people playing it, takes Concord game offline to just two weeks after release. And all six remaining okay. players are very upset about that. Very <laughs> upset. I'm actually going to have a look, actually. Concord. They can't is, is this the same game that wiped out uh, the early access with a day one patch? No. no. no, no that was, that was Outlaws. 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 Yeah, right. different, different game, mate. That's different. Yeah, mate. They're all blurring together. Yes. <laughs> to be fair, well, they're all the same sludge anyway. Oh, look, all 63 six, players. All 63 Steve. people are really upset that this game has uh, obviously crashed and burned. Uh, right, but keep in, mind, keep in mind, you need 12 players to actually get a match. That you do. Bump, to say. If you go back to the graph, oh. that little bump to that oh, is there is like when people were chasing the um, Steam achievements. See that bump there, that's atypical. Yeah. So the game the game's been announced that it's going offline, and then there's a massive surge of people saying, Oh, we want to get the gayest achievement of the year. Um, let's jump on the game now. Because the only problem is the these hundred and thirty two people. So if if there's like twelve odd um, players to a lobby, there's they're gonna be playing the same people over and mm -hmm. over again. And half of those are the devs, probably. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Or journos. On the other so half, fucking uh, shit. Are, uh, it's probably IGN journals. journals or the developers yeah. themselves. Yeah, developers, journos to pad out, shillers, and just people yep. who are just retarded. Um, you know, is it is it too much of a flex to admit that I've been on panels where more people have watched uh, a show than actually played Concord, which cost one hundred and fifty million dollars to produce? I've been on panels with with more live viewership than the old time thing. Imagine, mm. imagine if Tomby had a budget of 150, 250 million US dollars and developed a, a project around, say, the Tomby community in the course of six to eight years. Everyone mm. on this panel would easily be a millionaire. Uh, yep. the, the Tomby empire would have the support of many millions of people. And you would resonate with whole generations of people all over the world. But if you give it to, to these lunatics, they create a dead-on-arrival game that can barely last half a month. Mm -hmm. See, I know, and that's that game. embarrassing. Yeah, sorry, mm. Smoke. Go this, for it. This game was marketed like three months ago as a the next biggest uh, uh, Sony title, wasn't it? And it got like yes. a 20 or 30 minute showcase in the one showcase where Elden Ring DLC was also introduced. Yep. Yeah. enough. Nobody rem fucking remembers it because it was mostly a CG trailer with like, I think, 10 minutes of gameplay or 15 minutes. But the gameplay was so forgettable that people actually forgot the game was coming out. I well, mean, the, the Yorkshire, funny thing Yorkshire with, tea is a good investment, Abe. Yeah, but the, the, the funny thing with Concord is anyway, like eight years of development, $250 yep. million, dollars, and the game didn't even last as long as a cup of coffee. I saw I saw Cliff Blazinski uh, talking about the uh, about Concord the other day, and everybody was like, how, how much did Lawbreakers cost? And he was like, maybe a fraction of it, and it only took three years to develop. And that game got cancelled as well. Keep it, Keep that in mind. That was yeah. around the time when hero shooters were like damn, uh, like oversaturation in the market already. But funnily enough, I saw the writing on the wall like last week already because as of August 29th, they actually delisted the game from the PSN store. They were, weren't act actively promoting it. Instead, they were actually promoting Valorant instead. And that, that says everything you need to know about how, how much faith they actually had in the game. If, yep. the, if you act actively promote the competitors, then you know you're fucked. Like, you, you can't make this shit up. Hmm. And that's and, that, and that's precisely right because if you if you look at the last uh, even the last six months to a year, most games have a relatively decent marketing approach. They will mm -hmm. saturate YouTube. They'll saturate Twitch. All of the major gaming platforms. You will find people running. Uh, and a really good example of this is Delta Force, uh, the new Delta Force game. You will have people running yep. streams over on Twitch with free um, key giveaways. All of that good stuff. Did we see any of that with Concord? No, we didn't see no, no. anything. And bear in mind, and we are going to jump into some of the kind of like the the um, Twitter posts uh, because I just want to rip them apart like normal. Um, mm -hmm. And that's not from a destructive or negative perspective. Is it's just that they're not listening. 
is that they try to create a game in an already oversaturated market where Valorant and Overwatch are actually doing fairly reasonable. I mean, Overwatch is currently pulling in 50,000 players currently. Yeah. Um, so how, how are they going to challenge um, the likes of that in an oversaturated market? They need to innovate. They, they need to bring something new. Mm -hmm. And what did they bring new? Fat trans characters. There's, there's, there was no mm -hmm. other innovation. Not Wasn't in my like view, there was no characters? other innovation. There was like 16 characters and only one of them was a white guy. And th they actually put the white guy in for good grace so that uh, people wouldn't complain that there's no white people in the game. Do you know, he was do the, you know the, white the token white guy? Yeah, the, the token, token white, white guy. guy. <laughs> but I would actually be interested to see the numbers on how many people played which specific character. Yeah, I would love to see that too. That would be really good... Um, Really good. To be, to be honest, they had so many, so few players. Especially the Asian chick. I bet you the Asian chick was the most played. Sorry, go. I said if they, they had so few players that it would probably be statistically meaningless. Mm. Yep. <laughs> I said this to, to Tommy before we started the show. I wouldn't be surprised if they sell some of the characters off to Blizzard so they can repurpose them as uh, Overwatch characters. Yeah. Because de Overwatch desperately new, needs new characters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, but it, if you desperately like, needs new fatter Activision, characters, yeah. But if yeah. you're Activision, if you're Activision Blizzard, why would you buy any of these chuckle fucks? Mm, yeah. Because it's cheap, it's cheap to uh, get reused characters. You just rename them, give them a different coat of paint. Boom, easy. Oh, yeah. do you know what? I would, I would actually donate the money right now if I had it. I would donate the money to Blizzard to mm. import one. Call it Concord failure. <laughs> yep. Just import it as that Concord failure with a pair of wings on his back on fire. Un unfortunately, Activision Your Blizzard, even even under Xbox's control, is in such a bad state. The yeah, only part of that company doing well, and it's done well since Activision Blizzard bought it, was King, which is why I always like to call it Activision Blizzard King, because that company. The makers of Candy Crush have practically kept Activision Blizzard afloat with yeah, their yep. remarkable mobile game, which is essentially an addiction simulator for single yeah. mothers, for the most part. Every, um, most now, people, obviously, yeah. obviously, I'm I'm not going to point fingers at Ickle Pickle, but she oh, yeah. plays a lot of the king-based <clears throat> games that exist in Facebook. Mm -hmm. Carrie does as well. She's yep. such, she's yeah. Because crush. they're easy. They're simple. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the objective is simple. The cost is next to nothing, but ultimately sure. the ads and things like that, the, the ad revenue and things that are generated is keep, keeping that company afloat. There is a reason why they bought yeah. it. South Park did an episode on this years ago as well. Yeah. Like Penny Crush, yeah, they did. Yep. And you can easily so, make the, the argument, I mean, given the way console gaming is, is going, it's going the way of Concord and, and Dustborn. I mean, those two games are great <laughs> examples of no matter the budget and no matter the the amount of, of political correctness or, or wokeness that's in it, they're both going to be failures. Every variant of this disease, because that's what I like to call it, is going to be a failure. And I think the, uh, the franchises in gaming that will survive will be much more PC-oriented. They'll be much more free-to-play oriented, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But I think ultimately the fo the future of of gaming, and it's sad that I have to say this, is uh, mobile because it's by far the most profitable. It's way more profitable than PC gaming, and it's way more profitable than console gaming. But no one likes to bring up mobile gaming, especially those who uh, who love their PCs, those damn master racers. While yep. while mobile gaming literally have mountains of money to bury you with, so. Of Firewalk Studios announced that the game mm. would be taken offline from the 6th of September. You said to anybody that has bought the £40 game uh, would receive a full refund while the team determined the best path ahead for its return. Now, this is, this is the thing that a lot of people are missing. On it that. hasn't been cancelled. Uh, so when you look at um, titles of some of the tweets and some of the posts, they think it's been cancelled when it hasn't. It's just been taken offline. Uh, been so that's, that's quite an important distinction. Um, now, mm -hmm. what are they going to do? Me personally, I think this is they're going to try and label it down as a 200 million tax write-off 
and try shelve it mm-hmm. and prob- probably reuse the assets somewhere else, sell the components, sell the um, the layout or the game in a different way. But it, certainly as Concord, I very much doubt it's ever going to be coming to the market again under the name Concord. They'll, they'll definitely shelve it, take the tax write-off, uh, and quite literally just break it up into um, other areas. They'll probably rebrand it as Concord Rising or something like that, just to like oh, get, get away from the name association, or like Concord of Concord Phoenix or something, or Phoenix Rising or some shit. Concord, which would be Concord flies again. <laughs> Crashes and burns. <laughs> Concord is a so-called hero shooter mm-hmm. with similarities to popular titles such as Overwatch and Valorant. Players are part of the team, reportedly in development for eight years. This is also mm-hmm. what made me laugh. I highly doubt that somehow. I very much eight doubt years? this was in development for longer than two years. They probably had Three ideas years for it. Three years. I I would say... Or like two days. I would say <laughs> they probably started with Overwatch 1, saw the mm-hmm. success of Overwatch 1, bearing in mind the age of Overwatch 1, saying we can do something better started the usual um way they do mock up the game mock up the ideas and at some point they've gone out to the various different consultancy firms and next thing you know it's it's a bloated mess of woke uh fat trans players and characters i'll be honest you've got 16 characters in that fucking game right 16. all of them look like they've attended a kamala harris uh, rally number one number two None of these characters look memorable. The only c- character I can remember from that game is probably the Asian chick because she looks the most normal out of all of them. And, and that's saying something. Yeah. I mean, I mean, just look at that. You've got a robot that has uh, is gay. Fat gay yeah. robot. Trans, Fat gay robot. Trans starfire. Um, yep. Girl with head in a fishbowl. Chunk. That's, that's Mrs. Freeze. That's Mrs. Freeze's uh, yeah. cousin. Old uh, old lazy old lady piss pants. Um, another <laughs> fat chunk. Um, she looks all right. The um, the six, one? seven or the, one. Or the Asian chick. Yeah. Then you've yeah, got they, the they, they, pink-haired Asterion wannabe. Um, <laughs> black cowboy. Um, Borderlands reject. Yep. Mushroom head. Yondu, different coloured. Um, yep. Exactly. The, uh, s- Rocket launcher. <laughs> Rocket launcher. Um, poor man Thanos. Yep. The, s- uh, the sniper uh, from the Trump guy. rally. Token white guy. Yeah, th- that's Trump rally sniper. That's who I call him. And then yep. you've got black chick in the corner. <laughs> and and the Very funny thing is, is, is Lily's Lily's fucking response was fucking mm-hmm. classic. Yep. Looks like a Kamala that's Harris fucking- rally. That's just it, fucking it does. phenomenal. <clears throat> if you line them up, at- if you line yep. them up side by side i think you could make a rainbow flag out of them i think that's deliberate i think Ooh. all the colors that were chosen oh, deliberate yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, yep. by that's the way, actually that guy, not a bad I mean, shout hmm. i wonder if you could just, just, yeah <laughs> i wonder if you could just take the average color from every panel and put it side by side mm-hmm. you would end it up would with a pride flag mm-hmm. that's probably it wouldn't surprise with, me with, with some variation of it by the way we lost a greg Oh, fucking oh. Who? No, hang on. Who? He's back. Oh, there you go. I'm back. So, Boo. Um, Boo. I, I, you look, if you look at the guy on the on the in the third row, the first one, the cowboy guy, he looks like that Obadiah guy from Fallout of uh, Fallout Four, doesn't he? Yes. That I'm, that, s- um, I'm, s- that, I'm sorry, what, but I see a black man in a cowboy hat, and I instantly think of Atreus. Now I don't yeah, know if you Atreus. guys know. Who- <laughs> Who Atreus True. is, but he's a, yep. a great guy. He's very, uh, very African American. That's why I call yes. him Atreus, and, and he does wear a cowboy hat. So that's interesting to see. Time to face the light.